Now, Chrissy, you've had some you've had some time off now from a long track season, probably the longest season, you know, in terms of just running in general that you ever had. Like I mentioned earlier, back in Florida, you have the cross country season, a short amount of time off, and then it's outdoor track, and then the cycle just continues. But you know, with the majority of the United States, and especially in college, you have the summer training, then it's cross season, then you basically go right into indoors, and then you go right into outdoors. And outdoors can last until, you know, the middle of, you know, June, July, and sometimes even in August. So it's, it's definitely been a longer season for you, but you've had some time off now, and pardon the pun, but you're once again shifting gears. What, what's your outlook on your sophomore year? What should we expect from Chrissy Gear after all the experiences that you've had as a freshman? I don't want to, like, I'm kind of hesitant to set, like, certain goals for myself. Just so I don't want to put, like, put extra pressure on me that I don't need to have. But every year, all I, all I really look for is to improve on how I did the year before. And that's all I can really ask. Like, yeah, if I could run under 17 minutes, oh, my gosh, it would be amazing for 5K or, or under 21. Um, I guess, actually, I'd like to get down to low 20s. It would be really cool. Um, for 6K, yeah, like, you know, like, you know, don't want to be up in the top score in five or even, like, the top three. Like, heck yeah. Um, you know, playing on the nationals again as a team. Like, um, that's in cross, like, outdoor, like, oh, <laughs> I got a lot of goals, actually. I'd like to make it to the indoor. Um, I'd like to make it to the indoor uh, national championship and the outdoors and make it to the finals and even, like, you know, podium, like, top eight. Um, for the American finish and um, I mean I, I honestly if I could pick up to the good I'd be 800 but I know it'll probably end up being people mm-hmm. um, but like so I I mean yeah I do kind of have some stuff in the back of my mind um, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself you know I one of my favorite things um, to remind myself is just take it day by day you know like sometimes you can get really overwhelmed and it's just not worth it. Um, but, yeah, so, like, all I can really ask for is to improve. So, you know, if I don't achieve all those goals, if I'm doing better than I did the year before, like, you know, I, I guess I'll be happy with that. It won't be, like, you know, like, what I want the most. Because <laughs> um, I, I have other goals. But if I try to do everything I have and, and can do better than last year, like, that's, you know, that's all I can ask. Like, um, I, mean, I guess God is reason for everything. And I trust that he'll, like, lead me, like, where I need to go. And, um, hopefully it's where I want to go. Sometimes it's not, and yeah, I guess we'll just have to see where that is. And Chrissy, off of just off of some of your experience that you've had, you know, now you're a college athlete. You were a stellar high school athlete. What are what are some words of advice that you would give to athletes currently in high school, or even fellow athletes in college, in terms of dealing with things? You know, whether it's regarding motivation or fitness or, um, you know, just different things, you know, different battles in their mind that they're having. Uh, what are, what's some words of advice that you would, you would give them? Um, well, one is talk. Like, don't hold it all in if you're dealing with something, if you need help. Like, there's so many people out there who, like, who care about you and, and want to help you. Um, so, I mean, let them. Like, you don't have to go everything by yourself. Like, it just makes everything a lot more bearable. Um, two, like, like have fun with it. I mean, it's just so cheesy, and I'm sure everybody has said this at some point. Uh, but I think there's one quote that I like. Like, the like, moment I thought having fun with this moment, I'm done with it. Um, and I think a lot of people on my team are a lot more serious than I am. I don't think everybody appreciates, like, how much I do around. Um, but... Like, I, I do goof around a lot, and I don't always take things, like, you know, as serious as some people think I should. Uh, and I'm super talkative for my races. Um, but a lot of, like, I mean, because I get nervous, and that helps, like, get rid of the nerves instead of being all serious and, you know, like, st- like stoic face. Like, I, I don't know. I act like a big ball, and I guess it kind of comes up like, immature in some people. But, um, I don't know. I like to, like, do, like, stupid things. Like, my... One of my teammates, um, Emma Coon, oh my gosh, she's so much fun. You'd love her. I wish everybody had Emma Coon in their life. Um, but she is, you know, like a oh, topical Tuesday. And we'll come out, you know, just topical stuff on Tuesdays. Or, well, actually, it's, it's not just for running. She has this other life. Like, every Tuesday, she wears a topical shirt. I love it. Um, but I like, I mean, some people think it's cheesy, especially some people on the team. But I like matching with my teammates, like, for workout days. Like, 
it's kind of gives me a sense of like togetherness and I don't know I just think it's a ton of fun um but I like you know I love music like that makes it more fun um but I just find little ways to like enjoy what you're doing like that's the worst like like this whole like most of track season I hated what I was doing I was getting really upset like I wasn't in a good head space um but I like this season like um, especially since I started running this summer, I'm having a lot more fun with it. I'm trying to, like, appreciate it more, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think, like, that, I guess I talk to people, have fun with it. I feel like there's so much more advice I could give, um, but I don't feel like everyone else, it's, it's probably all cliche and everyone else is already said it. Um, but, I don't know, I guess you always remind yourself why you, why you do it. If you don't know why you're running, then, then why are you running? Like, don't run. But I feel like everybody has a reason. Um, in the back of their mind, you know, and, and like, yeah, I have second guess myself sometimes that I remember, like, um, you know, people that, like, you know, look up to me and believe in me and uh, people that I can positively influence, like, that's the big thing, like, you know, that's the thing I want to do in my life is, is positively impact people and help people, like, however I can, um, you know, I'm not going to be over here curing, curing cancer or, you know, getting rid of, like, you know, the Flint water crisis or, or something big, but I guess even, like, even just a little thing tells, you know, whether it's putting a smile on someone's face, but it's something, like, like you know, stupid I said in an interview where, like, or, I don't know, like, develop your relationships with people, like, to where, like, you know, we're friends, and I can, like, be there for them, like, I don't know. I just want to, like, like help people and, and do good and be a good person, and I think running gives me up that opportunity. Like, I think, you know, God gave me you know, this talent as, you know, for a reason. Um, and, you know, like, they're like, yeah, I wish I could, you know, be a good gymnast or be a great painter or do something else instead of run. But, I mean, I might as well, like, you know, take advantage of, like, this, this great gift he's given me and, and you, like, will by him and, and do uh, what I'm supposed to do with this. So. And so if you had to, if you had to say, would you say that's the reason why you run? Um, yeah, I, there's, there's a lot of reasons, but I think people, it's probably the reason that I run, and I can, like, impact them, influence them, and I'm trying to make the most of, of, like, the talent I was blessed with. Well, Chrissy, I've watched you compete as a stellar athlete during your high school career, and you've continued to do the same thing in college, despite all the ups and downs. I, and I'm sure with you know, along with other people as well, are looking forward to seeing you compete and continue to compete at a high level. Um, just want to thank you again for your, your time, uh, you know, taking the time out again to speak with me, and I wish you all the best this year. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your week. It was so awesome talking to you again. All right. Thank you, Chrissy. No problem. Bye. Thank you again for joining me for today's episode. But before we end this video, I just want to add in a few facts that I, I might have left out earlier. Fun fact for you. So, as I mentioned earlier, Chrislyn Gear is number five on the Florida Girls all-time list when it comes to the mile with her time of 4.49.36. However, there's an interesting person who she's actually just above on that list, Jenny Simpson. Those of you who don't know who Jenny Simpson is, you should probably look her up. Jenny Simpson graduated from Oviedo High School in 2005. Oviedo High School is another school that is down in Florida. Both of their times were ran at the National High School Championships, but oddly enough, the two ran the exact same time, with the exception of the milliseconds, both ran the exact same time, almost on the exact same day, just 13 years apart. When Chrissy Gear ran her 449.36, it was on June 18th, 2017. When Jenny Simpson, who at the time was Jenny Berenger, ran her 449.82, it was on June 19th, 2004. Crazy, right? As if that isn't enough, Simpson also later competed in the steeplechase, just as Chrislyn Gear is now. Simpson took the NCAA title in the steeplechase in 2006 with a, with a winning time of 9.53. Oddly enough, that's just a second shy of Chrislyn Gear's personal best of 9.52, which she ran at the NCAA East Preliminary Rounds. Simpson would then go on to win the 3,000 meter steeplechase at the U.S. Championships a year later in 2007. Earlier this year, in 2018, Chrislyn Gear won the U.S. Junior title in the same event. 
and then eventually punched her ticket to compete at the World Junior Championships this past summer. Do we have another future Olympian in the making? Only time will tell.